Descriptive statistics describes or summarizes the data. For example, it tells the central measure of the data, which could be mean, median, or mode. It also tells the dispersion around the data, like range, standard deviation, interquartile range, etc. Descriptive statistics also gives you a snapshot of the data if there are any other errors, outliers, or discrepancies within the data. Inferential statistics, on the other hand, draws inferences, which is a process of inferring something on the basis of reasoning and evidence. Descriptive or summary statistics has been discussed and explained in the description link provided below. Choice of inferential statistics Choice for inferential statistics depends on the type of exposure variable. If the exposure variable is other than numerical, then both the statistical test or regression can be applied. However, if the exposure variable is numerical, then only regression can be applied and not the statistical tests. Choice of inferential statistics. The type of outcome variable helps to decide which particular statistical test or a specific type of regression can be applied. A statistical test, for example, could be t-test, z-test, chi-square test or ANOVA test. Similarly, regression analysis could be linear regression, logistic regression, or Poisson regression, and so on. There are other factors that may influence the choice of test. One factor is sample size. The other is distribution, whether it is normal or parametric distribution, non-normal or non-parametric distribution, which we will discuss in the subsequent videos. For example, if you want to compare the means of a normally distributed dependent or outcome variable, in this case blood pressure, for two independent dichotomous groups, smokers versus non-smokers. Here, exposure variable groups is a dichotomous categorical variable, so you could either apply a statistical test or some form of regression. To see which specific statistical test you could apply, we need to see the outcome variable, which is a normally distributed mean blood pressure with a sample size of 200 patients. Then, in this particular situation, two sample t-tests can be used to compare the mean of blood pressure of smokers versus non-smokers. The stator command will be t-test blood pressure by groups. Like and subscribe to ResearchRamp if you want to take your research skills to the next level. Thank you for stopping by.